So it certainly made sense to keep this one from starting on time outside the College World Series and finding success in postseason play. Well, a moonshot that will be playable over left field. Wynn's going to take it into foul territory. He did lose it. And the one two again swung on and miss. And line into left field. That will get down in front of Brown for a base hit. So DeBarge trots over to first. And what you're going to do is leave a fastball over the heart of the plate. They got it picked off. The throw to first. Back down to short. Oh, and he slid in safely. You got to change your moves. You got to change your head. And oof, what a good pitch. Fastball outside corner. At 91, the punch out is second strikeout here in the first. 336 on this season. That hit him. And now the Raging Cajuns with runners at first and second. With runners in scoring position. 340 on the air. Cut on and miss. Three strikeouts. Powell hanging around. A big cut. And he was fooled with that pitch for the first strikeout by Nazu. 41 straight. He's been aboard. Moonshot straight away center. Rockefeller tracking. What amounts to be a one, two, three, bottom of the first for the Longhorn. John Taylor's from the West Coast out in Oregon. Three hopper to second, right between the wickets, and O'Dowd, his career leading into this particular season. Slow roller to first, could be two. Over to short, back to first, and in time for the double play. Well, the brilliant turn. Brown 332 on the year, the strikeout. Pitch was dropped, soft toss to first. Be the second strikeout. And this one, a rocket down the right field line. That's going to drop for a base hit and more. Big turn at first. Here comes Kennedy. And the throw in time and gunned down by Hood in right field. We didn't see a lot of that here last year because of all the rain. How about another strikeout? Make that the fourth for Lucas Gordon. And a looper down the right field line. Now in foul territory, tracked down by Hood again. Well, he's played magnificently. For all these players, guarantee you that's what's being said throughout that dugout. Hey, make sure you drink your water and stay hydrated. Through the hole, right side for a base hit. Rock of Fort reaches. We'll have to break to the bag so late. Run it back to the mound. Only play at first for Gordon for out number one. The sacrifice will go 1-3. Higgs, a chopper through the hole, and that's a base hit. Stop sign is on at third. Rockefort's held there. And Louisiana with runners at the corners, just one out. Did he offer? He oh, did. They said he did. And this a laser beam in the gap. Center field going back at the wall. And he caught it. Kennedy grabbed it and just stole three runs from Louisiana. Coach, your boys are coming out swinging the bat. Boy, that was a tough one to probably watch as Taylor gets robbed there in center field. Yeah, yeah, it's not the first time it's happened this year. Smart thinking, though, by Campbell. Just got underneath it a little bit too much. On the screws, that'll get down for a base hit. Taking third base will be Thomas, and now runners at the corners for the Horns. Their third hit of the afternoon, their second here in this frame. And the 2-2, grounded a third, and a nice play by Marshock to retire the side. And if you're able to see that, why waste the pitcher? Strikeout number six for Lucas Gordon. What a game. Beautiful baseball here on display, our first game of the Coral Gables Regional. Kennedy, a big cut. He'll strike out the third for Nazu. Easy tag. It's like, wait, what do you mean that just happened? Strikeout number four for Nazu. And go with that breaking ball down. How about striking out the side? Three, four, and six in this tournament. A hammer, right field, leaping grab. Was it me? <laughs> I think it was out of right field by Campbell. Like a wide receiver catching a touchdown. Full extension and a brilliant play. I was like, why is he diving? He's not going to make this play. Campbell, oh. full extension. After that incredible moment, line drive, left field, Brown, and he will not catch up to it. Off the wall, off a hop. 
And now Hood digging for second will beat the relay. Two out double. And the Raging Cajuns in business for a moment. Turned out to be a nail biter. Served in the left field. That's a base hit. Rounding third and coming home. Here's the throw. It's offline. One nothing Raging Cajuns to throw to second. Not in time. And Higgs comes through. Boy, what a big hit by Higgs here. Let's that ball travel. We talked about that low part of the zone. You're going to stay down there. you got to beat it to that spot. Higgs does that. Gets that barrel right underneath it. Line drive to left field. Huge two-out hit. Single RBI off the bat of Connor Higgs in favor. The Raging Cajuns. This one chopped to third. Powell had to wait on it, and he'll fire cleanly over to first for out number three versus the runners up in the ACC, the Hurricanes. That's a shot to deep left. Going back is Higgs. Just like that, we are tied at one. Sixth home run of the season for number 19, Mitchell Daly. My word, it's a fastball, middle of the plate, and Daly did not miss it. I didn't think we were going to. Freshman out of Waxahachie, Texas. And he'll draw a walk. Only six or 74 tosses made. That's through the left side of the infield, and there it is, Dylan Campbell. 36 games in a row with a hit, and that is a new Big 12 record. History is made. Play, catch that bad boy out in front. How about that? Into right field. Hood's up with it. Runner waved around third. Here comes Thomas. Throw not in time, and Texas has its first lead. One and two, the count does not matter. The punch out out of the bullpen. That would have changed the complexion of Maybe this entire regional, the punch out by Lucas Gordon, who stays on the bump. Roll the dice. And LaFleur strikes out. A one, two, three frame, two more strikeouts for Lucas Gordon. And a two out walk. Second time that Daly's been aboard today. Ball in the gap, it's warm. Ninth pitch of the AP, that will get through for a base knock. Taking third is Daly. Texas with runners at the corners. And they're, they're ready. This pitch is going to get away and taking second will be Jared Thomas, who heads up base running, two in scoring position. Payoff pitch, here it comes upstairs, and the Horns have him loaded. A laser to left. Higgs tracking, turns around, high off the wall. One run is in, two runs will score. Dylan Campbell again gets the job done. Oh boy, what a swing by Dylan Campbell. Gets the fastball a little up in the zone and he stings it to left center. There it is, up and away, and he hammers this pitch, probably about a foot away from hitting a grand salami. Five for 10 thus far. And he walked him on four straight. Staying calm, cool, and collective. And he strikes out. Oh, Estridge. Get that foot down, catch that ball out of front. Line drive, center field, going back Kennedy again at the track, and that one is gone. Well, 95 meet Carson Rockefort. That's a home run, and it's four to two. Oh, he hit that one on the screws. Boy, this is what you do. 3-1 count. You know you're getting the fastball. That's what he's been throwing. Morehouse, a lot of fastballs. Get that foot down. And I love the way the three. Hood up the middle. Another base hit. So after two quick outs, here come the raging Cajuns. And the tying run comes up to bat. Both bats starting to heat up. Slow roller over to short. And Daly will get the force out at second. And as Gabby indicated, Travis not operating with a ton of urgency. Slow roller to Barge with plenty of time. Nice play. Solid toss, he made that look easy. 
down and away. Up the middle, Ooh. stabbed by Morehouse. Out number one. Nearly a grand slam. His second hit of the afternoon. Rocket over to first. And Thomas is there. Well, a couple of hard hit baseballs, two outs to show for it for the Raging Cajuns. In control is Zane Morehouse. And a strikeout. Texas finds a way here in Coral Cables. Four to two, our final score. And the Longhorns in an outstanding position, starting things off the right way. And their road to Omaha. Texas now awaits the winner of tonight's game between Miami and the Maine Black Bears.